you have the right to carry, you have the right to defend yourself, you have the right to call the cops. They carry, right? So I am someone who supports the police. I am someone who was saved by the police when I was attacked at that gas station. Um, probably like seven sheriffs showed up to save my life. They actually saved the other guy's life because he kept on attacking me and I, it was gonna get to the point where I had to take him out. But thankfully, nothing that happened, right? I'm not in prison. Um, I'm, I'm not doomed, you know, I'm not. Uh, God saved me that day, literally. And he did it through the hands of the sheriff's department, Southern County Sheriff's Department. They all came and stopped, put a stop to this whole madness, right? This guy, this guy was on drugs. He was just like, just randomly attacked me. Just random, to the most random fucking attack on the, in the world. <laughs> like, I am an enemy of no one, right? And of no one. I've never, like, maybe I owe, like, some people some money, but not, not like, a lot of, like, not like hundreds of thousands or anything crazy like that, right? A few hundred, maybe a couple thousand. Like, I owe people some money, right? I owe my mom some money, right? But, and I will I will pay my debts, like I told those people when, when, I, when I said I was going to do it. But other than that, I don't, I don't know anyone that would come after me, right? Like, that would, like try and hurt me for some reason so i know it was a random attack it was the randomest thing in the world like i was literally just waiting for orders and was pretty much just gonna use the bathroom actually and i went to ask the people for the key and then i turn around this guy's yelling and he just comes at me and we just destroy the whole we destroyed the whole fucking candy shelves, everything. They said we destroyed a, like I smashed his head against a cash register box. I, I, I had a lot, a lot of that I don't remember, but I do remember holding his head and being like, hold, like getting ready to get up to put a bottle in my hand and be like, I'm about to take this dude out, you know? Cause he's trying to kill me and I have no idea why he's, you know, we're no, we're nothing. We're, we you know, like, he's just crazy, right? But the hand of God came through and said, no, you know, close that fridge door. Like, don't open it, you know, you don't need to do any of this. God, pretty much I, I had a message from God saying that I was going to be fine. You know, just put up my dukes, put up my defenses and keep fucking hammering. Just keep going, you know. And that's what I did. And thank God, like his friends came in, they held him. I got the chance to leave. I left. I got blocked from the back because there was a car wash. So, I, so then I ran through the front. Then he pulled up in front of my car. I could have ran him over then, but I stopped. And my fucking window I broke my window like it, it wouldn't it wouldn't unlock it wouldn't go down it wouldn't go up it was right stuck in the middle but it was opening just enough for his fist to come through right and at this point I was just like I'm gonna get my sh I'm gonna get my gun my, my knife I'm gonna get my knife and it's over for him it's over for him right and that's when the sheriffs came in like seven motherfucking sheriffs came through and they looked pissed they were taking my picture they were asking me questions but they looked mad at me they were just like on a good one like wanting to make me a bad guy but I was a victim I got a letter in the mail saying I'm a, I'm a victim because I'm a victim that was a random attack of just some random fucking crazy idiot so that's my survival story that's uh what i was referring to in one of my last videos um gotta save my life many a times man and, and honestly i'm so glad things worked out the way the way they did you know and this is this is why i support cops now more than ever i support real 
police that come and do show up every day do their job for the people that they do it for right of course a lot of people use a badge of course there's a lot of race tassels out there okay but uh, most of the cops that i've encountered have saved my life or let me go maybe give me a ticket whatever one day, like I said, I never pay any tickets. So one day, if I go to jail, that's what I'm gonna go to jail for is unpaid tickets. But other than that, you know, I'm an upstanding member of society. Like I don't need to do any criminal activity to get the things I need, you know? I work hard, I play hard and you know, that's it. And I'm making art to bring a better world forward. Hopefully, if I have kids, give them a better world. And if it's anything that will help us move into that world, right? And I love the police. I support the police. Now you know why I, I am a supporter of the police. They saved my life. They saved my life. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for police. I'd be dead because that guy would have finally got me or I would have got him and I'd be in prison. I'd be literally locked up right now instead of out here making deliveries.